Hello and welcome to the Interactive and Immersive HQ. My name is Marco. I work as an immersive media developer and for some projects I really like to integrate uh, Comfy UI into my workflows and I want to show you how you can integrate every Comfy UI workflow into your touch designer network. So let me show you uh, an example first on how you might use it or how I used it in uh, one installation or one project during my master studies. So we basically had this um, touch reactive cloth where people were able to deform a sphere into some kind of structure by uh, dragging it around with their fingers. Yeah, like you can see here, we also had another interaction um, possibility through an iPad which you should also see in a second but yeah basically they can just deform a sphere into some weird structure and as soon as they are happy with their structure um, it got sent through the ComfyUI workflow so here you can see the difference actually this is what gets sent to ComfyUI and this is what comes out of it and of course you can just do an image to image workflow in Comfy UI but uh, here the challenge was to integrate it seamless into the workflow and um, yeah you can do that with every Comfy UI workflow um, all you need is the Comfy TD um, plugin or component from dot simulate you can find it on his uh, patreon yeah i have uh, the comfy td version 0.2.5 here yeah so how can we do all that so and what are we going to build actually let me maybe show it here directly in touch designer so we will have a simple setup where you can just create some kind of structure um yeah you can Deform it here however you want. Change the camera. And then whatever is rendered in this moment, if we press that button, it's um, going through the Comfy TD with the uh, Comfy UI um, workflow running in the background. And this is our input here, and this is what we get out of it. Yeah? And you could then seamlessly switch between these uh, outputs here of course you can use any kind of input so you could make this into a, a kind of photo booth as well let me just show you that so i use my webcam as an input here and when we press the button it's going through the comfy ui workflow again and as you can see we get a image that fits the structure of the original. Okay, so for this example, I am using um, this very simple image-to-image -image Comfy UI workflow, which you can also download uh, from the link down below. And let me just go through it quickly. So, oh yeah, and first you need the Comfy UI portable installation, not the desktop one. Um, just so you know and yeah let me just explain quickly the workflow here so in the beginning we have our uh, checkpoint loader here I'm using this delusion LCM model you can download it from here and then you just need to paste it into your Comfy UI models uh, checkpoints folder so that's where you have your installation of Comfy UI under models and checkpoints this is where you put it and then you also need uh, the two control nets line art and depth and also one upscale model and you can find these in the uh, through the manager here model manager yeah just type in the search um, the models that you need and then they will be downloaded directly into the correct um, folder Okay, then we just have our text prompt here, so you can prompt it however you want. 
and as an example here, this is the standard ComfUI workflow, uh, the standard ComfUI image, like the touch designer banana just for ComfUI. We have this weird uh, image here and it's going through the control net preprocessors, which extract um, the line art from it and a depth map. And out of that, it goes through our case sampler, uses the prompt and the control net inputs to create our result here. Okay, so let's start from scratch. And the first thing you need to do is just drag and drop the comfy TD component in here. Um, and for the initial setup, like I said, you need the comfy UI portable uh, version. And here under setup, you can just uh, paste the installation folder path of it. And after that, you should be able to launch ComfyUI just by clicking this uh, pulse button here. And it is then going to start in the background here. And then as soon as you see that the connection uh, is turned on here, it is connected. And after that, you can under config, um, you have to create an API folder. If you don't have it already, just click on pulse and this is going to create just this API folder in your ComfyUI uh, installation path. And this is where you um, place the workflow that you want inside. Um, make sure that the workflow that you want to use is saved in an API uh, format. So let me just show you quickly. So if you have any workflow here in Comfy UI, um, you can save it or export it, but make sure to use it as an uh, API format here. Yeah. So in my case, I did that already and I just dragged and dropped the workflow inside here. You can do the same. And then under config, you just have to choose the workflow that you want. And as soon as you do that, you see a lot of uh, toggles um, appearing here. And uh, these are all the um, parameters that you can expose. Yeah, So for our workflow, I would like to expose uh, the input image, yeah, because we want to send that through Touch Designer to Comfy UI. And you could also um, maybe the text prompt and whatever you need there. Yeah? So like I said, you can expose any of these parameters here or, or for example, to control the strength of the control net or something. But for this example, to the to these two. Yeah, then you just hit pulse again here and then under settings uh, you are seeing the parameters that you turned on are now exposed here and this is the load image yeah, where you normally uh, where we used uh, in the example that uh, standard ComfyUI image but you can choose now any top image as an input here. Yeah? So I just built something very simple or actually let's use from the palette, the generator super formula. Yeah, and then we need a geometry. And of course we need to render all that and also need a camera. And I would like to give it a wireframe material. Here, we can just assign it as a material just to give it that wireframe look here. And um, the workflow that I'm using uh, is based on Stable Diffusion 1.5. Um, yeah, of course, you can also use, like I said, any other workflow from ComfyUI, even for flux or for video generation or whatever. 
and um, but for stable diffusion 1.5 we preferred image input is 512 by 512 but I like to use a higher resolution in our conf uh, in our touch designer network here because like you saw in the installation um, people also see the live touch designer output there yeah? so actually in the conf UI workflow it's going to be downscaled to 512 by 512 but for inside our touch designer network I want to have it in a better quality okay and then you can just drag and drop that null image here and if you now hit generate it is actually you can also see it in the command line here it is doing its work the very first time you are running this workflow might take a little bit longer because um, it needs to load all the models but yeah the second uh, from the second time on it's going to be faster okay then we can grab that output here and let's maybe put it into a switch so we can just compare these two here and as you can see it fits the structure but uh, yeah makes an AI render out of it Okay, and then depending on what your input is, of course, yeah, uh, or what your installation is, like I said, you can also use a um, the video device in, for example, to make it, I don't know, for example, for a kind of interactive photo booth. So let's send this one through our workflow. So I'm running this on my laptop with a NVIDIA 3070 Ti and well within 10 seconds i think that is uh, acceptable acceptable for a um, installation so that people wait only a couple of seconds and yeah right now you see the switch has still the live input here but to really see which image got um, sent into the workflow let's create a button that triggers the generation let's set it to momentary and let's also add a cache top here set this to off and then we can reference our button to that pulse here and also to the generate button of comfy td sorry for the little mess here let's make this a bit more clean um now let's call this here input and reference this here instead and this here is our output and now when you press the button it's going to send um, the image from that moment to your conf ui workflow and then you see directly here the exact input and output yeah you could also because we exposed also our um, our text prompt here yeah you can put anything here um, what do we have now here some sculpture so a futuristic sculpture so let's maybe make it a sculpture made out of white bananas hit that button again and let's see what is happening and then with our output you 
Ja, it has some, some banana forms. <laughs> but yeah, you can just get uh, creative here. Okay, so depending, of course, on how strong your control net is and also the input, um, yeah, you get something that is closer to your prompt or not. Yeah, this is all a thing of experimenting. Um, but yeah, the main essence here with, with this component is really that you can integrate any ComfyUI workflow into your touch designer network. And here you can choose all the parameters that you want to expose. Uh, and that can then be controlled uh, via touch designer directly and be part of your workflow. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.